Life is a balance of needs. We expend much of our effort in scheduling to fulfill the basic needs of our existence, providing the fundamental necessities of water, food, and shelter for us, and those that depend on us takes effort and planning. But what about nature and the complexities of the cosmos? Do we schedule or attend to the laws of nature? Do we provide what is needed for everything that is out beyond the stars? We live our lives as participants within the cosmos. While fulfilling our role, we are able to observe and enjoy the beauty of our cosmos through the elegance of its finely tuned arrangement. The elegant fine-tuning that exists within the cosmos can be seen by the host of interactions happening all around us. Science tries to mirror that natural elegance through the mathematical expressions we use to describe the processes that we're observing. For instance, the gravitational relationship between masses forms the basis of our understanding for all cosmic motion, including everything from planetary orbits to galactic dynamics. The equation describing gravitational force between two objects includes three important factors. First, the masses that are involved, which addresses the existence of structure. Second, the distance between those masses, which addresses the existence of space itself. And third, Newton's universal gravitational constant, a fundamental physical constant that addresses the scale of this force. Both the relationship between mass and distance in this equation, which scales directly with mass and inversely with the square of distance, and the presence of the gravitational constant show a finely tuned balance for the overall strength of gravity's force. Why is it that gravitational interactions follow this relation? Why inversely with the square of distance rather than a direct relationship? Why is the universal gravitation constant the value that it is? These are questions which humanity does not decide. We have discovered the relation and we have assigned the units by which we measure it, but we did not decide for the cosmos what form of relation or what scale the gravitational force should have. Current understanding categorizes the interactions of nature into four fundamental forces. Gravitational, electromagnetic, strong nuclear, and weak nuclear. Each of these forces has a relative strength and scale of operation that is finely tuned to balance the others. The relations of these forces depend on the finely tuned arrangement of our cosmos, from the material constants, such as mass and charge of elementary particles, to the spatial relations for how each force is exerted, to the universal physical constants that balance their effects. The scientific pursuits of investigation and exploration are thrilling, from the discovery of subatomic particles to mankind taking its giant leap on the surface of the moon. The complex nature of the universe has both confounded and astounded humanity, yet the fact that such a vast cosmos exists, that its complexities function so precisely, independent of any human intellect, demands that an intelligent creator designed and ordered this finely tuned cosmos that we are now privileged to study.